Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for May the 18th, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, Novartis plans to split its pharmaceuticals division into two business units, with one focused solely on oncology. As part of the changes, David Epstein, the current CEO of the pharmaceuticals division, will leave the company. Also in the news, AstraZeneca's Lynn Parza failed to improve overall survival in a phase 3 study of patients with advanced gastric cancer. The company noted that while there was a numerical survival trend in the Linparza plus Paclitaxel arm, it did not meet statistical significance. In other news, a mid-stage trial of Auramed Pharmaceuticals' oral insulin capsule in patients with type 2 diabetes met its main goal. The drug demonstrated a significant reduction in weighted mean nighttime glucose of 6.4% versus placebo. In addition, the US Patent and Trademark Office agreed to consider a challenge filed by Coherus Biosciences against a patent protecting AbbVie's Humira. The Patent Office agreed to hear the petition after concluding that Coherus has demonstrated a reasonable likelihood that it will win the challenge. And finally, a Phase 3 trial of Novartis's ribocyclib in patients with breast cancer was stopped early after an interim analysis showed that the trial met its primary endpoint. The company said that in the study, the CDK46 inhibitor showed a clinically meaningful improvement in progression-free survival. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today.